classrooms, and then students. Now that you've already got the first three out of the way, it's time to add in your students. You can do this in many ways, including uploading a CSV file, by adding them individually, using a third-party roster, or have them self-register. If you'd like to add your students in with a CSV file, please be sure to note that you can download the sample CSV template to ensure that you've got the formatting correct. Simply replace the information there with your own student's information. Another important thing to note is that the program accepts letters, numbers, and for special characters, underscores, dashes, or the at sign like you'd find in an email address. Now, there are a few main methods to upload your students with the CSV file. This is to ensure that, if you allow it, all account levels can add their own students. For yourself, the easiest way to do it is to simply select the four, upload your students text from your dashboard. Now, you'll be directed to download the sample CSV file or to upload your students with your own CSV file. For the second method that teachers and school administrators might use, they can select this Students tab and then hit import, Add Students and then select Import Students. That way, they will be able to go to the same CSV page as you were able to access a moment ago. Now, again from this Students section, you can also add your students individually, which is a simple method if you've only got a few that you're planning to upload. So back here from the Students tab, we're going to select the Add Students button. Now, instead of Import Students, we'll go ahead and select Add a Student. Here is where you'll fill out the information to add your student, such as the username, password, grade, class, and name. I'm going to go ahead and create a sample student. I'm going to go ahead and use something generic, make them for sixth grade, assign them to my sample school, and name them test student. They're going to go ahead and have sample student at yeti yeti.com. When I'm finished, I'll go ahead and hit create. If you prefer a bit more of an automated approach and you are a premium user, you might be rostering your district using a third-party system. To begin the setup process, select the Management tab from your dashboard. Then, from here, select the appropriate tool. Now, you'll be directed to contact support at yetiacademy.com to finalize the details of your integration. When you're finished, you'll hit Save. Finally, you can add your students with self-registration. To do this, you'll want to ensure that your district portal is set up to enable student self-registration. I've included a link to our Solution Center on setting up your school portal, so please pause this video if you'd like to check it out and ensure that your page has this feature enabled. Once you've done so, make sure you've provided the class code to your students so that they'll register into the correct class. You can find this by going to the Classes tab. You'll see that the code will be right next to the class you choose. Your students can then visit your district's Yeti Academy domain and then select Student Self-Registration. Here is where they'll enter in the information to create an account for themselves. Should you have any more questions about adding students or any other area of the program, go ahead and check out our Solution Center that I've included in the description down below. Our Solution Center is always growing to better suit your needs and answer any questions you may have. If you find that you're still confused, you can always reach out to support via the chat or by emailing us at support at yetiacademy.com. We hope you have a great time exploring the world of STEM education with your students.